Hi, in this video we're going to do a Windows 11 uh, installation upgrade. So we have Windows 10 desktop here, so we're actually upgraded to Windows 11 and see what happens. I've done many Windows 11 clean installations from scratch and they've gone fairly well. I haven't had any real problems, but I wanted to try one doing an actual upgrade to see if it keeps our files and programs. Um, so we're going to try that right now and you're going to see what happens because I'm not sure how it's going to go. So I have this Windows 10 virtual machine um, with you put a file here, pre-upgrade files on the desktop. So we'll see if that's there after we're done. Then I installed 7-zip and that's pretty much all it has on it since it's just a, a VM and I don't want to do this test on my actual computer here. So we're going to open up uh, Windows Explorer here. I have the Windows 11 ISO file mounted on the virtual DVD drive here, so we'll run it here. Okay, so setup will go online to get updates, drivers, and optional features, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what this does. Uh, no, we're going to skip the downloads for updates. You should do this when you're installing just to make sure you have the latest and greatest, but we're going to do this for the sake of time. Leave that unchecked because we don't need to send anything to Microsoft. Click on Next. Okay, accept the license agreement. Okay, so we're going to install Windows 11 Home. And I think it's because it, this is Windows 10 Home, so it found the matching version. And so keep personal files and apps, that's what we want. And looks like we could change it to just keep files only, but delete the apps or just wipe everything else. So we're going to do the first option there. Okay. All right, so this process is going to take quite some time, so I'll be pausing the video. So you know, obviously you don't want to sit here and watch this go to 100%, so we'll be back when there's something to see. Okay, so it got to 100%. Now we're rebooting, or actually rebooted on its own, I should say. And it looks like it's doing some updates anyways, even though we told it not to do updates. Okay, now we're rebooting again. More updates, or actually it looks like it's continuing the updates. All right, and so it looks like we're rebooting once again. Okay, so now we have a Windows desktop here. Let's see what happens. So it actually has my two users that I had on this computer here. Let's try logging in. So now we're going to have to go through the typical getting things ready for you that we're used to seeing in Windows 10. And this is the same process you have to go through when you're doing a clean installation. So this, where it says this might take a few minutes, it takes more than a few minutes. Okay, so it looks like we're at our Windows desktop here with our user. We have our pre-upgrade text file here like we had before. Let's see what happens when we go to apps, or all apps I should say. 7-zip. Yep, and that's there, so it looks pretty good. Yeah, so of course you'd have to use it to make sure it's, you know, everything's running smoothly. But other than that, looks like it was a pretty simple process to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 within the operating system itself. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem when the uh, people start doing it for real here when it finally uh, becomes common. All right. Well, anyways, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>